Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Derek Afasi. I'm the owner of Afasi Financial Group and RetireSharp.com. Today's topic I want to discuss with you IRA distributions and unveil some of the mistakes that are made when individuals are planning for retirement and they're doing the retirement planning, uh, setting up too heavily in growth and accumulation strategies when they should be shifting their mindset or at least their plan for a safety and income uh, distribution and preservation strategies. So I'm going to kind of expose, you know, what are the most common mistakes that are made, why they're made, why they are made, and then, you know, what are some different results on or ways on how you can avoid it, making sure that you're getting a confident retirement, you're really securing what your retirement assets are, and you're only leveraging small portions of your retirement savings to accomplish your exact goals. Now, we just recently created created a bunch of different reports out there. So this one, uh, at any point in time, feel free to give us a call. We offer 24-7 customer service, and we're offering free IRA retirement reports that go over all the pros and cons of IRA planning, um, how to set up your accumulation phase, most importantly, how to leverage your distribution phase. So you could always call, get your free report, and then also watch this video and see exactly which would be the, um, you know, the, the, the most help possible so you could really understand the pros and cons um, and see, you know, which ones apply to your exact situation. Now, the first bullet point I, I display is growth for, uh, growth for safety and income strategies. What happens is an individual starts a planning for their retirement. They might have money in their old 401ks, and then if they've ever left their employer, they typically take their 401k and they'll roll it over into something known as an IRA, an individual retirement account. Now, individuals could either place money into regular, you know, employer-sponsored retirement accounts, such as 401ks, 403bs, their savings plan, 457 plans. Those are all employer-sponsored. When it's on an IRA, an individual retirement account, it's set up as established through the individual. So typically, the contribution limits are going to be smaller, but you could essentially, because these are qualified retirement accounts, IRAs are also deemed qualified retirement accounts, you could roll over these monies into specifically designed individual retirement accounts that might pertain to your situations. Typically, when somebody's younger, they're going to go and have these IRA contracts established towards riskier, more speculation type investments, such as mutual fund related uh, accounts or ETFs or, you know, stocks, bonds, whatever that case may be, something that could accumulate their dollars on a very effective way, um, try to participate with upward market growth potential because they have that long time horizon before they retire. Well, there's going to be a specific point where, you know, typically it's right when you hit your 50s that you realize, okay, I've accumulated, I've been, you know, placing money aside for a while. Um, you know, these monies are kind of aggressive. How exactly should I, should I try to scale down? And, you know, what are some of the negatives that are associated with my current plan, my current accumulation plan, and how exactly do I scale down and have this IRA account set up mainly for distribution or max distribution strategy or max preservation strategy? And, you know, that's some of the things that I want you guys to always be mindful of because if you could eliminate the negatives in retirement and just focus on the positives, po focus on the, uh, you know, the, the, the power of compound interest working towards your accounts and, and getting rid of all miscellaneous fees, well, then you'll have a nice consistent growth into your accounts. And then you could also attach different things to the IRA contracts that could provide you a maximized distribution, such as something known as an income rider. So let me clear off the screen. So a common mistake that's made is an individual says, okay, I'm, I'm in my 50s or maybe I'm 60 years old. Um, you know, I have access to roll over my 401k into an IRA account or I've been contributing to an IRA account for all these years. I'm going to leave this money invested into how I, how I grew this account. I'm going to leave this money invested into some sort of risk. So in this example, we're going to use mutual funds. Well, anytime somebody uses mutual funds with these types of accounts, there's going to be a fee associated with it. It's going to be that mutual fund related fee. So according to Morningstar, the, the average mutual fund related fees average right around 1.31%. So your situation, you might be paying less, you might be paying more, but essentially that's a negative. So if you think of it like an IRA as a, as a bucket of money, you have to poke a hole in the bottom of this bucket. That's the first negative. The second aspect is saying, okay, well, I don't really know how to choose my funds. So what I'm going to do is go to an investment advisor. I'm going to go to a wealth accumulation specialist and have them choose my funds for me. Well, when these advisors set these accounts up for you, they're going to ask you a slew of questions of what's your, you know, what's your, um, 
what allocation you think you should be placed into, what exactly is your risk tolerance, different things, and they're going to go and spit out different formulas of saying, okay, based upon our analysis, you should go into you know having this sort of allocations set up into your account. When that happens, there's still no guarantee, there's still no safety net. There's nothing wrong with the advisors telling you that information. The downside is those advisors typically charge you something known as a wrap fee. And on average, according to Bloomberg, this fee is about 1.18%. I've seen fees very, very high. I've seen fees lower than that. But ultimately, that's a negative coming out of that account. The only thing that's guaranteed about that fee is that there's going to be a fee against your account. And the higher that your portfolio is, the more money that advisor is essentially going to be making. So when a downward market shift occurs, you're still going to be having to pay out those mutual fund related fees in this example, that advisor fee if it's set up that specific way, and also you're going to eat that downward market loss potential. So I apologize for my sloppy handwriting, but now these are three negatives that are working against this account. This is when you need the money most. This is when you need to get the speculation out of your accounts and say, okay, well, I've already grown this account. How exactly can I preserve it? And how exactly can I take out proper distributions from there? Um, so this third negative is the downward market loss. The fourth negative is, let's say if this individual has his money in there and he says, okay, I want to, you know, he or she says, I want to start pulling money from these accounts. Well, now that's another negative. That's the income negative. So what's happening is they're pulling money from an account that could potentially go down. And that's a very common example. So when I'm talking about preservation and distribution strategies, there are specific ways, specific techniques on how you could stop the bleeding, how you could make sure that you're utilizing a portion of your retirement savings, you're setting them up for a max distribution goal to make sure that it's safe, it grows consistently, meaning that it, when the market goes up, you're going to receive an interest credit into your account. When the market goes down, you're going to receive 0% into your account. So it's going to have that safety net there. There are no advisor fees tacked to this because these are known as fixed accounts or fixed indexed accounts. So there's a whole slew of different variations you could do with these types of IRA contracts. You could structure them into you know, different alternative investments. You could structure them into different risk. But the most important aspect is to say, okay, I want to make sure that my safety net is there so that I could maximize out you know, what my income strategy are what my preservation what my distribution phase you know essentially is so an example of what I'm talking about is let's say if you have you know an individual a couple that has five hundred thousand uh, dollars you have a husband and wife they're age 60 right now they have this set up in different qualified accounts and they say okay I want to retire at age 65 well you know what exactly is the dollar that they need to retire at age 65 what exactly are their current expenses what are, their, what are their income sources going to be at age 65? Is it going to be Social Security income? Is it going to be pension income? Is there a specific gap between the two to what their expenses are? So it's all about figuring out what that gap is. Once that gap is established, then we say, okay, we scale back. How much do you need to fill in that gap for retirement? And then what is the smallest dollars out of these savings that you can leverage to accomplish that goal? So maybe it's going to be if they're qualified retirement accounts, then you could establish a specifically designed IRA contract that gives you guarantees, give you lifetime income guarantees, in this case for joint income, that would have a five-year deferral, provide the highest guaranteed cash flow numbers, their legal reserve structure contracts, meaning they're very safe. Uh, typically, they're set up by either banks or insurance companies. And then what happens is you make sure that you have these different features associated with the IRA to trigger lifetime income. So anything that they do not use up would therefore get placed over to their beneficiaries. Um, let's say if they keep living and living and living, well, their account's still growing off of that safety and consistency that I was telling you about regarding the indexing. Um, you know, there, there's just so many different variations that you could do. But the most important thing is say, okay, if somebody has retirement assets of, you know, 500,000 or 400,000, whatever that case may be, well, if you only need 100,000 to accomplish your goal, only use 100,000. That's the biggest mistake that's made is individuals, they'll go and they'll, they'll listen to the advisor that tells them, oh no, use your full amount you know, for your specific income goal. And yes, would you have more income at that time? Yes, but what you're doing is you're lacking on your strategies for an emergency fund strategy, making sure that you have your money in case of an oh my gosh moment, and then also an inflation adjusted strategy, making sure that as you trigger income, in this case at age 65, well, maybe you'll get another income triggered at age 68, another one at age 71. So you're stepping up slowly with that inflationary expenses, you know, that are established with your particular situation. So 
It's all about maximizing your distributions um, you know, for your IRA accounts and setting that up the proper way. You don't want to go and throw money and say, okay, now my money's still in the market. Now I'm freaking out. I'm in my 60s, my 70s, my 80s, and hopefully the market doesn't have a dip because that's not the way to properly retire. When you properly retire, you have confidence. You know exactly what are the pros, what are the cons of a situation, what is the absolute worst case scenario. Are you still receiving that monthly paycheck? each and every month until you pass away and then also have that peace of mind until your spouse passes away as well. Whatever you don't use up would then go to your beneficiaries, typically your children. Um, you know, and that's the different things that we try to show you. Now, it's not things that have, you know, question marks saying, oh, there's an 80% guarantee or, you know, an 85% guarantee. No. With anything regarding retirement, you have to think of it like getting on an airplane. If I told you, okay, you have an 80% chance of getting to your destination successfully, you're not going to get on that airplane. That's exactly how you have to plan out for your retirement. Unless there's a 100% chance of success of saying, okay, if you're receiving lifetime income, how safe is that lifetime income? What exactly is the, is the company that's, that's establishing that contract? You know, why does it make sense to do that move? And those are the different things that we try to show you guys on a daily basis. And this is what we included in your IRA report, uh, typically your, in particular, your IRA distribu distribution report. So if you found value in this video, feel free to give us a call. Our 1-800 number is 1-800-566-1002. We offer 24-7 customer service, and we deal with clients on a national basis. So depending upon what your specific area is and your specific age and your specific goals, that's all going to depend upon what the different solutions are that come back. We utilize a proprietary technique known as a RetireSharp planning system. Hence, the name of our website is RetireSharp.com. Our YouTube channel is RetireSharp. So feel free to subscribe to us so that you can get the most updated videos, you know, through out each week and what we try to do is bring in whatever questions we're getting most common uh, you know per week or the week prior I'll go and try to you know create some different videos for that and we have been doing that successfully for a bunch of years now so um, you know we are a plus rated on the Better Business Bureau we would like to make sure you guys have personalized videos you guys have free reports particularly to your circumstance and you know at any point in time you're interested in speaking with a specialist uh, give us a call 1-800-566-1002 I want to thank you very much for watching this video make sure to subscribe so you get properly educated week by week thank you so much guys